Now, there still might not be 10 million of these little lights. However, the bioluminescent bugs of the constant here have certainly become a worthier sight of late. Seriously, fireflies were low on my list when it comes to topics that would need a revisit due to recent updates. But lo and behold, recent updates have us right here to have them surprise us once again. From brand new mechanics to a slew of renewability sources, let us catch some illuminating insects. And it should come as a shock to no one that such a thing will be requiring a bug net or two. They are very easy to make and simple to understand, so let us get straight to the ground. And question, where can we find fireflies? Well, a ton of places actually, like any of our grassland biomes or branches that have said turf, like say the mosaic for example. That said, I'd stick to the actual biomes listed here today to help your search, so your next noteworthy spot should be any of your forests, especially the deciduous ones. All deciduous forests in this game are filled to the brim with firefly spawns, and they will likely be the only source you will ever need. That said, we best mention a few things that Passbeer didn't say, like how caves can be a bountiful place for these little things too. Plus, being that they're in the caves and all that, they are always going to be active at all times. But here's something I never see anyone detail, not even the wiki really. The moonstone generates with three fireflies guaranteed, so make a beeline there if you need to. And with that, we get to talk about the Oasis Lake, of course. In a similar vein, the set piece will be home to three fireflies itself. But there's a catch. These flies not only only spawn once the lake fills come summer, we can't even catch the dang things until the lake dries back up. That's not great, but it's still one of the only ways to renew fireflies in this game at the end of the day, so you should make notes. But here's the thing, the key phrase there was one of mind, so allow me to welcome you all back to the waterlogged biome. For you see, great tree trunks can and will now spawn a bunch of fireflies, and with a few trunks per biome, things can start to get interesting. Because not only will great tree trunks generate with fireflies from the get-go, they have a chance to spawn more each and every day. Well, as long as there's less than 10 underneath them, that is. If that is indeed the case, every great tree trunk is going to offer us a 70% chance to spawn another firefly each and every day until they are back up to at least 10 of the buggers. It's neat stuff, so take advantage. But speaking of, why even care about any of that? What can fire Fireflies do for us, Beard? Well, lots of stuff, honestly. Namely, nonsense related to all light, of course. If left to their own devices, they are able to help us stave off the darkness and Charlie, as while they do disappear once approached, they very quickly reappear in the exact same position as seen here. So then, with that, and the fact that fireflies only show up at night in mind, let us say that we captured a full 40 stack of the guys and proceeded to drop them in a desired location, like base. What then? Well, the obvious of course. We will then have a ton of permanent fireflies all around it to help serve as infinite light sources. And don't fret about putting the fireflies first, as you can always just build underneath them. Enjoy it all. But what about some more practical uses for fireflies, Beard? Are there any? Oh, for sure. Take minor hats, for example. Requiring a single fly, one chunk of gold, and a straw hat to create, they are portable light sources that will last for about a day while atop our noggins, they will also throw off a bigger light radius than a torch, of course. Plus, they're very refuelable, too even with fireflies themselves. In fact, fireflies will refuel both minor hats and lanterns by 38.5% each, so make notes. Beyond that, expect light bulbs and slurtle slime to act as the other fuels too, while also knowing how pigmen, bunnymen, and blue monkeys can all wear these minor hats, which is kind of fun stuff. To continue though, we have also got some spooky stuff too in pumpkin lanterns. Now I imagine most don't even realize that these things are a part of the game outside of Hollowed Nights, but they are, and cost a pumpkin and a firefly to craft. 
do so, and you will have a highly portable decor item that just so happens to also provide quote-unquote infinite lights. Pumpkin lanterns last about five days in summer, six and a half days in spring and autumn, and nearly nine days in winter, folks. And if Hollowed Nights does happen to be on, all those timers are roughly four times as long. But let's say they do spoil via natural or manual means. Do we lose our little fireflies? Well, back in the day, yes, but a recent update has made it so we will never deplete the fireflies needed to craft these things, even if we smash open these pumpkin lanterns ourselves. Very nice. But to truly end the day today comes the character-specific Firefly crafts, of which we've got two to talk about this time around. After scanning and acquiring a Mole Worm, all WX78 players can now create an opto-electronic circuit to help unlock darn near infinite Moggle Vision each and every night or when down in the caves. So I guess screwed Charlie there, am I right? But last and certainly least, we can say sorry Charlie again with Winona's spotlights, I suppose. Costing us tape, gold, and a firefly, we might still want to reconsider making any of these things, as they have always been and are still garbage. Especially nowadays, I feel, because we have so many other light options out there. Heck, even fireflies themselves are better than these things. Yeah, I'm thinking Winona might need another rework. But hey, that's a topic for another day. As it was the fireflies' time to shine, and shine they did. From brand new crafts and mechanics to some expanded upon information, I think I even surprised myself with this very revisit, everyone. I was very happy to return to show some love to the waterlogged biome, as the place is about as optional as optional content can get, and I always enjoy these revisits, as I can make up for some of past beards' laziness. In short, fireflies are awesome, and I'm glad to have updated them for ya. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Be sure to brighten your bases with bioluminescent bugs, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.